Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsTools.com and I have the Windows Phone 8.1 on the Lumia 1520 device which we have with us and again I am going to tell you some of the features which I have noticed. I have started using this device with Windows Phone 8.1. We are also making some other videos that how you can actually enable Cortana uh, especially whenever you want to use it in India and we have done that. We will also tell you about that as well. So in this video I am going to tell you some of the key features which we missed highlighting when we were at the launch event. So uh, let's start. First of all, uh, the thing which I would like to tell you is that uh, you can actually set a wallpaper at the background behind the tiles and this thing which we already told you in our previous video, so this is not new. But something which is new is that now you can actually kill applications which are running in the background and secondly, whenever there is an update for any specific application, you will get this option, uh, you will get this warning or you can uh, see that as a notification that attention is required. So whenever you tap on it, it will take you to a screen where you will get to see all those applications which actually needs update or for which uh, an update is available on the Windows Store and you can download that update and again it will not happen automatically but you can actually specify the Microsoft account on your device and then you can tap on the applications to actually start the update. This will happen automatically if the Microsoft account you have actually entered, you have specified the username and password correctly then it will happen automatically but otherwise you will get all these uh, alerts in the form of attention required. Apart from this, uh, there is one more thing which you can do and that is related to the settings. So let's go into settings and let me just show you the settings for the photo. So over here under the photo settings I can see this option that we have the option of uploading all the photos automatically to the external storage. Uh, by default the external storage is going to be the storage which you will have in the form of OneDrive. So OneDrive it is actually automatically turned off so you can actually turn it on and in case you don't want to upload all the photos which you have clicked from the camera on this device you can actually uh, unselect this and you do have option and support for other applications as well. That means you can actually select third party applications once you tap over here uh, it will give you the option of uh, finding all other applications which are supported to be used as a backup application so that whenever you uh, take a photo on this device from the camera they will get automatically uploaded through third party application which will support Dropbox for example all these applications are supported that means you can actually upload photos on Dropbox through this application you can upload it through the uh, to the Flickr as well with the help of Flickr Bruce application and Flickr Central and all these applications actually allow you to use third party storage services and cloud services to actually upload all the photos of your uh, Windows Phone running Windows Phone 8.1 and you do have a box shot free application as well which will allow you to upload all the photos automatically so this way you will have a backup of all the app photos which you have clicked and not only it will work for photos but it will work for videos as well. Apart from this you also have the option of setting the default camera app. So Microsoft has enhanced the Nokia or the Microsoft camera application which is there we showed you earlier as well and you do have the option of selecting either the Nokia Pro Cam application should be the default application or the Microsoft camera application should be the default application. For example you do have a dedicated camera shutter key on the Lumia 1520 and most of the other Windows phone. So in case you press this key the default camera application which is selected over here will get launched whenever you actually press that button. Apart from this you do have a battery saver application as well which is there on this device and again whenever you turn on this battery saver application it will optimize the battery backup on your Windows phone by turning off the duration the light basic which is actually over here for the back buttons for the capacitor button which are there on the body of the phone and once you enable this option you will see that uh, whenever the battery is being conserved you will get much more of battery backup and estimated time remaining for battery is going to be 4 days 17 hours which you can get even with 39% of battery on this device so this is a complete power saver and it will give you much more battery backup as compared to the normal battery option which we have seen and it will also give you a usage scenario of what all applications are actually using the battery and how much they are using the battery so you will get to know about that as well. Apart from this if we take a look over the 
brightness settings so under brightness settings we do not notice anything new but there are some new options as far as driving mode is concerned you do have a driving mode which you can configure in case you would like to configure it so that it will read all the messages whenever you are getting the messages uh, whenever you are driving you can mount this phone to your car dog and then you can have it uh, working in that particular mode apart from this you do have a network plus advanced settings which is right now not available because we do not have a sim card inserted into this device so that means we cannot configure it but again this will actually allow you to configure this sms and other data settings so that you don't have to actually worry about how much data has been consumed on your phone it can actually uh, decrease the overall usage of yours you do have a call and sms filter as well and under call and sms filter you can actually go to advanced settings to specify what all numbers you would like to block it will also give you a notification if you enable this live tile on the lock screen itself basically over here you will get all the notification that uh, what all uh, numbers are actually blocked and how many calls and uh, SMSs which you have actually blocked within a day so it will give you all that particular data in the form of a live tile and if we take a look you will also get to have a notification as well in case a call is blocked you will get the notification that the cow that that particular call is blocked you can actually block the withheld numbers like whatever numbers you have you can actually add uh, those numbers on your contact history uh, in your contact book basically and you can actually specify any of that number to be blocked so this way you can block the call from that number as well as the sms's you can do that apart from this if you go into the audio settings now you have some additional enhancement options Option which will allow you to enable the Dolby option under the headphone mode you can also have an audio leveling and you can also flip to silence so in case you flip the device like this the device will go silent whenever you are listening music all this can be possible now under the audio settings if we take a look over the other settings of this particular update as you can see I can show you the current version of windows phone which we are running so we are running windows phone 8.1 which i have updated i have actually made a separate video altogether so that you can get to know how much uh, how you can actually update the windows phone um, update to windows phone 8.1 on your windows phone even when you are in india or any other country you have a different simple procedure for that you can see that video you do have a wi-fi sense this time as well which allow you to actually connect to wi-fi hotspot and you can actually create a portable wi-fi hotspot as well with the 3g sim card which you can insert into this device so all these new options are already there you do have additional managed settings as well which you can specify in order to have more information and uh, more strict tools basically what you would like to do with the uh, wi-fi the thing option is on this device so apart from this you do have some additional settings as well like kit corner which will again limit the overall functionality of the phone whenever you would like to uh, you do have notification and actions over here under notifications and actions as you can see uh, you can actually specify which all application how uh, what kind of notifications you would like to see how what kind of sound you would like to hear especially whenever you have the notification from those applications right now hotmail is there messaging is there phone is there and store is there so for all these applications you will see a banner running on the top a sound as well as some vibrations as well which will happen on the phone whenever you get alerts as, uh, or messages in the messaging whenever you are getting a phone call when so as of now these all application which you see including hotmail messaging phone and store for all these application notifications are supported and you will see these notifications in the form of banners running on the top and you will see these notifications in the form of sound and vibration which will happen on the device apart from this uh, one more thing i would like to tell you is that whenever you are watching something in full screen for example you are under photo and you are actually watching a video which is uh, playing in full screen and the moment you actually swipe accidentally from this side it will not open the notifications so it will not open the notification in this way and this is actually a very good option because the first time you will do you you will do this you will only see this blue button and once you actually do it second time then it actually uh, guess that you would like to open notification that is why you are swiping twice so this is a very good feature which they have actually added so this is one good thing as well which they have added so these are all the things which we wanted to highlight in this video do let us know if you have noticed anything new on the windows phone 8.1 interface we would love to uh, talk about it and we would love to show it to other people as well so that's all from us do let us know if you have any specific question for this device
or for Windows Phone 8.1. Uh, you can leave them in the comment section below. You can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.